Hi, this is Sharon at FitInFun.com. I'm talking about dry skin brushing and loose skin. So first of all, if that's a problem, I'm assuming that means you've lost weight or you're planning to lose weight. And I have quite a number of posts that tell you if you are worried about loose skin and it's holding you back from losing weight, you've turned your loose skin into one of your excuses. Because no matter what, my health and how good I feel now is worth any loose skin. Like, literally. That is the last of... I mean, it's a bad problem, it's an emotional problem, and it bothers me, but not enough to say I want to be fat. And I did have that rush of emotions when I first lost my weight, but it's been two years now. And this year, I lost, um, you know, close to, let's say, 12 to 15 pounds off my midsection. And um, that was fat that's gone, and the skin is still there, just like when I lost my weight before. And since I went from 152 to like 138-ish or something, when I was 152 to 154 when I started in January. Now it's the end of November, and I'm like 138 to 142, just depending. And um, so that is a big weight loss on a smaller frame and where I definitely did lose weight in the middle. So um, that area, like in the bathtub now, um, I've had a lot of bathtub stories because I've always been someone to like to sit and soak in the bathtub. And at a certain point uh, in my mid-40s or even younger, like lower 40s, I got to where I could not take a bath anymore. It was too much physical strain. Plus, I was too big. Like, I was, like, too wide for in there. So I had to stop, and that was a bad time. And in the midst of losing my weight, I got to go back in the bathtub, and that was a thrill. And then all of a sudden, I got to see, like, not only am I in the bathtub, I'm only half the size of the bathtub. Like, <laughs> I'm not even big in here. And now I'm, like, a little child swimming in the bathtub again because I was bigger than 130 when I was like 13 so <laughs> this is like something has never happened to me before and so I'm very small and happy in the bathtub and um, a couple like a month ago I got in there a lot like a couple times a week or three times a week because I was trying to feel better for my injuries and I was just in there a lot and I really noticed the loose skin in my midsection from the weight loss. And it, it's like huge. Like the, the loose skin itself, when it floats away in the bathtub, since I'm so tiny in there, it's got plenty of room to move. And it's big and it's like, and it's newly big. Like this is, it wasn't there last January, obviously, because I had fat there and it was more attached to my body. So now that particular place is loose again. And it'll just take time to, you know, again, another two years. They say two years is how long it takes for your skin to heal. And I don't even believe that because I have scars healing today that I have years old. So I, I don't know who made that two-year rule. I can see where maybe you have a rebound for two years, but I think my skin improves every day that I take care of it. And it gets worse every day that I don't. And I'm old anyway, I'm not trying to be 20, I'm 54, I'm trying to just enjoy this. Like, this whole thing of weight loss to half my size at in my 50s is a gift. Like, I didn't think I'd ever have it, and uh, I'm not... I do complain about some things, but really, this is a gift. And I'm not going to worry about the loose skin issue for that. But I definitely have it. I'm not trying to say I don't. And it, it gets on your psyche. So we'll talk about dry skin brushing and how it improves it maybe on one of these videos. Be sure to fit in fun.